Hi, God bless you. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I guess a lot of you know that we have an online church called God's Church of Love online. Well, I want to let you know that you are more than invited every Saturday at 1215 p.m. Pacific time. Now, listen, this is the a thought that came to me. A lot of times we really want God to really do something in our lives. We really want to be blessed. We really want to experience his healing. We want to experience true freedom. And some of us have felt like we have been bound long enough. It's time for a change. But let me tell you, the only way you're going to get a change is if you see the need. That's number one. And number two, if you do what it takes to get that need met. And if you also, number three, try to get that need from the right source. Now, number one, we know we have to give our hearts to the Lord in order to access and appropriate all that God has for us. Now, we can live like a wounded soldier for the rest of our lives if we choose to, which means we can live, wallow, and, and just delve into pity, self-pity, anger, bitterness, frustration, unforgiveness. We can do that. We have the right. But if you really, really, really want to change into a person that you may not even be able to imagine right now. If you want to see yourself become more beautiful, you want to see yourself uh, grow stronger in character, in spirit, you have to go to the right source. Now, first thing you have to do is admit that you have issues. That's the first thing. You cannot admit that if you cannot see it. Or if you go into denial and decide everybody else is to blame for you being the way you are now. So the first thing we must do, see the problem, take responsibility for allowing it to be a problem for so long. And for living within the realm of that problem. Then we have to be honest with God and ask God not only for forgiveness, but ask God for healing, that God would remake and remold us, that God would take us out of ourselves and right the wrongs and make the crooked straight and smooth out the wrinkles in our minds, emotions, spirit, whatever. Ask God to readjust your perspective on life. Because see, we walk by faith, not by sight. But when you walk by sight, you're living in your flesh. When you live in your flesh, you live by the dictates of your flesh. Your flesh tells you to cut somebody out, you cuss them out. Your flesh tells you to steal, you steal. Your flesh tells you retaliate, you retaliate. Your flesh tells you act ugly, show your behind. They won't mess with you anymore. You'll prove to them whatever you're trying to prove. That's the flesh. But when you live in the spirit, you don't need to lean on those base elements, on the lower. My sister used to call people that live like that low order souls. See, I don't want to be a low order soul. I hope you don't either. But see, some of you admire low order souls. When they get out and act a fool, you get something to laugh at. When they cuss somebody out, you want to sound just like them, don't you? So we have to, wow. So we have to be very, very careful not to lean to those areas because when we do, we lower ourselves. Now, if you really want help, you will do what it takes. You will give up what it takes to get what it takes for you to become the big person that you want to become. You can't become a big person 
with a small mindset. You can't become a big person with a petty attitude. You can't become a big person when you nitpick on stuff that's not even important. When you make big things out of stuff that doesn't even count. So I ask you, whom do you want to become? What kind of person do you want to resemble? How do you want people to see you? How do you want to represent? Who do you want to represent? God bless you as you think that through. And I hope you make the right choice because God will take your ashes and turn you into something beautiful. God bless you.